Well, I think we have coined the phrase, do not judge a book by its cover. <laughs> Welcome our next student, Will Lorenzo. Let him hear it. Will, Will. <laughs> fucking anxious. <laughs> My new psychiatrist tells me that anxiety is just excitement without oxygen. <laughs> He's my new psychiatrist. He doesn't know yet that I'm into autoerotic asphyxiation. <laughs> no, but I'm, I'm, I really am anxious. I'm, uh, I'm almost 50. I am newly divorced. I've just discovered I have teenagers, and I'm, I'm, afraid of, I'm afraid this is as good as it gets. Uh, I, I, I feel like, um, well, well I, f I feel like a, somebody's midlife crisis Porsche that's been driven off the lot and is quickly depreciating. Yeah, okay, okay, I, not a Porsche, a Kia. Thank you. But, I, you know, I feel like I'm justified. Um, I'm, five years old and I'm peeking out from underneath the covers, looking at the corpses in my room. My father was a theater college professor, costume design and set design. And I know what you're thinking, you're thinking, I didn't know those types reproduced. Surprise! <laughs> in the 70s he did this play. Uh, it was, uh, well it was about feuding families and murder. And uh, to make the point, he made full nude body casts of his students and then did these death pose corpse statues that he scattered throughout the set. Um, after the show was over, he uh, brought them home and they were closeted in my room. And then with increased hoarding and cramming, uh, eventually they were pulled out and put in each corner of my room. And um, so, yes, in my childhood home, only the dead came out of the closet, the living never did. <laughs> As you can imagine, masturbating in that room was a little awkward. <laughs> the, the, uh, the dead are so disdainful. Speaking of disdain, my mother, uh, she was a living saint, a little domineering and sort of a political activist. She, she uh, read me Bedtime stories till I was in my teens, you know, the, uh, the ones about Nixon and Brezhnev and the Strategic Arms Limitation Treaty 1 and its sequel, the Strategic Arms Limitation Treaty 2. I was always afraid that she was going to uh, say something embarrassing in front of my friends. Okay, my friend. Okay, random kids walking by, all right? So uh, she would say, if we pray, Someday, the Soviet Union will fall along with the Berlin Wall. Mom! So, um, anyway, I, uh, <laughs> she was actually right. Um, I mean, everything's cool now. We have, uh, we, well, we have, we have, we have Putin. 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 Uh, I, don't really have a point there, I just like saying that. It makes me feel better, I'm anxious, it's kind of a safe word. Uh, so anyway, I'm always worried about uh, my kids uh, saying things that you know, kind of reflect poorly on me. Um, the other day, some friends dropped by. Okay, not friends, a friend. All right, all right not friends, it's actually some random strangers that were looking for my neighbor's house. But um, anyway, I'm trying to get him off the sofa, and I say, I say, son, get your ass off the sofa. Get yourself some coffee. Wake up. And my son says, he kind of eyes twinkle at me as he looks at me through all of his zits and peach fuzz, and he says, uh, he says, he says, you know, I like it. I'm like, oh, God. You know, I like my coffee like I like my women. Hot and without a penis. I mean, what the fuck does that even mean? Starbucks, what are you doing to our children? So, but no, really, um, I mean, thank you, God, 
he's only like a, a fucking sexual deviant and not a burgeoning racist. So, um, I mean, really, thank you, God. You know, God, Jesus, Mary, Joseph. Speaking of dysfunctional families, the Holy Family, imagine what, I mean, I'm sure they had some hurdles. Um, you know, I, 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 as a divorce guy, relate mostly to, to Joseph. I mean, think about what Joseph went through. He starts off with a super hot, cool girlfriend, ends up with an abstinent wife, her really over-domineering ex, and a kid that you literally can't teach shit to. If, if, if Joseph were here tonight, I'd, I'd put my hand around him, just tell him to breathe. Joe, say it with me. Thank you. All right, that was Will.